What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to my unboxing of my new Xbox Series S. And apparently, my little cat Sheldon is exploring it, saying, seeing this new. She's saying, hmm, what the heck is this? Hmm, I wonder what it is. Anyway, I already uh, cut the film off of the tape. So now we can open this baby up. If Sheldon doesn't get her head in the way. Oh, here it is. I want to do a little comparison. Okay. This is my original PlayStation 2. It's the one that you can actually use and store and hard drive to it, but I never did. So now we got this little guy to compare it with. Let's move that aside and move this. Now let's take this out and oh my goodness it's actually smaller than the PlayStation 2. I thought they would be about the same size. <laughs> oh and it looks like it's a little Skinnier too. So it looks like the PS2 is still bigger than the Xbox Series S. Oh, <laughs> here it is. I was wondering, wait, did it ship me with the new controller? And fortunately, they did not. So let's open this baby up. Okay. It feels good in the hands. Now, I know it came with batteries, but I got these. They're generic rechargeable batteries. And I'm going to put them into here. If I can get this thing open. Hmm. Mm. How do you open this? Mm. Okay. That's the pain. I'll probably do that later. And here we have the power cord for it and the HD cable I also am wondering if I can use a hard drive an external hard drive for this baby to store my game files on it I'll find that out too let's just take this off and just get a good look at it here it is. It's nice. There's the sync button, a USB port, and here's all the connectors in the back. And there's for the extension storage. Hmm. I'm guessing that's like the reset button. Now this is the, my very first all digital system. So it kind of looks like a speaker, but I know that's a giant fan. Anyway, there's my unboxing of the Xbox Series S. I like it because it's actually a different color than all the black ones. Still having a difficult team time opening this. Maybe it shows in the instructions how to do it. Anyway, the controller feels good in the hands. Yeah, the last Xbox controller I had was for the original Xbox. I actually still have it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work anymore. So it's basically just storage. Been in storage for all this time. Managed to power it up once, but then it wouldn't go on anymore. Anyway, that's my unboxing of my new di 
completely digital Xbox system. I also got a card so I can like download a few games. It came from Best Buy and it included this Halo CD case, which honestly I don't understand why. I mean, it's all digital, so why are they giving me a CD case? I have no idea. I'll probably sell it. But hey, I got it for free. So, yeah, so I'll probably just sell it. Anyway. That's my unboxing for my new Xbox Series X. And I'm my very first all digital console literally it is I mean my PS5 I do have a PS5 you seen me play Ratchet and Clank a whip in time and that was on the PS5 those of you who deny it I got it and it's the disc version not the digital version so yeah I can't wait to see how many games I can store in this and if a hard disk drive can store the data I need for more memory. Anyway, that's my unboxing for my new system. I'm going to stop now before I ramble on, which apparently I am. So if you like this, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. And until the next one, this is Shadowfinny2. Signing off.